Hey guys, long time. I've been dealing with some things. So when you grow up uh, in an environment where your boundaries are repeatedly violated, um, as a child, you can't move out, uh, you can't fight back. Uh, so what are you going to do? You're going to dissociate. You're going to dissociate, or they even call it disassociate, same thing. Um, and that's just how you're going to deal with it. And it helps you to survive. It helps you to keep shelter, to, you know, to just to get the things that you need uh, until you become an adult. And what typically happens is that you continue uh, with the same pattern of dissociating every time you're disrespected. It's your defense mechanism. At a certain point, uh, you begin to thaw from this free state. And uh, what will happen is that you're going to see the ways that um, this has affected you. This, this, this um, being non-confrontational and avoidant has affected you. And you're going to feel these emotions that you've suppressed. And really as an adult, the reason that you disassociate whenever you uh, are disrespected, if this has been your pattern, uh, and some of you might not even realize that this is happening, um, but... Uh, Eventually you will, Lord willing. But if this has been your pattern, um, then as an adult you have dissociated because to acknowledge the disrespect, be it, uh, be it subtle, be it overt, um, means that you're going to have to uh, touch upon this very deep well of pain that you've been avoiding for your whole life. And you've been avoiding it through addiction. You've been avoiding it through engaging in things that uh, help you to uh, ignore this feeling that never goes away. It's, it's there and life triggers you. And so you begin to isolate, you, um, you uh, avoid situations that, uh, that trigger this pain, uh, which basically means you avoid uh, a large swath of life and life becomes very narrow. And it's through that door that life begins to broaden but that means that you have to grieve and you have to grieve the ways that you have been violated and disrespected as a child and even as an adult because you there might be things that even happened five years ago 10 years ago 20 years ago 30 years ago for some of you even 50 years ago that you didn't realize were that drastic until yesterday or a year ago the part of you that is conscious, uh, that, is, that is you, may not have realized it, but your subconscious, your inner child, your intuitive sense, your felt sense, has felt this your entire life. And so how do you go through this anger? How do you go through this uh, rage, through this depression, basically through this grief, this sorrow, uh, without going back to uh, the same crutches that you've been unsuccessfully using to try to avoid this feeling? that have been keeping you from life. Um, first of all, you have to do away with, uh, with the belief that anger is a bad thing. You know, It's not a bad thing. It's an emotion. It's a valid emotion. It is a part of who you are. And anger is the appropriate response to your boundaries being violated. So you have to express that anger, but express it in a way that doesn't harm you or others. Therapy most certainly helps, but community helps just as much, if not more. Finding people who uh, you trust, who you love, and who love you. Hopefully, you have one person in your life. Look, look at the the crisis, uh, the crises that you have been through, and look at the people that have stuck through these with you, who have seen you at your worst and are, and are still there. If you have one person like that, you are incredibly blessed. Uh, begin little by little to talk to this person if they're willing to hold space for what you're going through. With the intention of going through it, passing through it. Uh, right? So what are you going to do with that energy? Find a pillow. Um, scream into it. With all of your might. With all of your strength. Scream into it. Scream until your voice goes hoarse. That's okay. You know, don't don't scream without the pillow because the neighbors might call the police. But scream into the... Let that energy out. Do push-ups. Do pull-ups. Walk. Take a run. Ride a bike. Work 
use this energy uh, for your benefit. Um, work with it. Um, and keep that anger. You know, keep it, keep it, I mean, express it, work through it. As you express it, it'll, it'll begin to subside. But it's there for when you need it. Because living in the world that we do, you do need to set boundaries. And continually. And it doesn't have to be an angry setting of boundaries. You can set boundaries calmly and assertively because you see things for what they are. You're not being Pollyanna about it. Um, but this throwing is a painful thing. And if you need to withdraw to do so, um, do what you need to do to take care of yourself. But the only way is through. And I encourage you, if you're going through this, you are not alone. We are living in a grieving world that is dealing with the grief in very unhealthy ways. We're living in addicted societies. Addicts everywhere. Even to this app. So, um, no need to shame yourself for your past decisions, for what you did uh, in order to survive. Uh, acknowledge this cunning, skillful part of yourself that helped you to maintain this thing called life. And uh, use those skills you learned and apply them toward the betterment of your life and those of others around you. Thank you. You're safe. You're loved. God loves you. Hang in there one day at a time. And I wish you nothing but peace.